All right, welcome to Man Kitchen Recipes. Remember the other video where I had that uh, pork shoulder picnic roast and I took the pig skin off of that roast and I told you I was gonna make some pork rinds? Well, let me show you how I do it right now. All right, so hopefully you watched my uh, pork shoulder picnic roast video where uh, this pig skin was on the pork shoulder and I cut it off and I mentioned that I was gonna make some pork rinds out of it. Now, uh, you know, if it's it's a process and we're gonna have to get all this fat off here so the way to get this fat off of the skin see the skin and the fat the different layers there uh, is you got to take this and boil it for an hour but uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut this in strips now chicharrones you can just cut it and fry it and all this fat will fry you'll have a different flavor it won't be pork rinds uh, and that is also really delicious so Anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cut these, this skin down a little bit because, you know, it's going to be cut into squares anyway. So that's all I'm going to do right now. Some people will go ahead and cut these up in squares before they boil them. I'm just going to leave them in strips. They'll be easy enough to clean in strips. So let's get these in the uh, boiling water. Oh. Okay, <laughs> the water is not boiling yet, which is fine. You want to put these in. You want to bring the water up to a boil and uh, we're going to boil these off for an hour to an hour and a half. We'll check the water. Water will probably turn all white, but yeah, that's the pig skin right there. Okay, pig skin's been boiling for an hour. All right, see how the water is kind of white? You can actually see. See how the fat has uh, really swollen up since from when, before I put it in? So now I'm just going to lay these on a cookie tray, a cookie sheet, a baking cooling rack, like that. And we're going to let them cool off. Probably going to have to put them in the fridge for a few hours to let them cool. And then uh, once they're cool, we'll get all this fat and extra everything off of these. So we'll be back for the next step. All right, our pig skins have uh, been in the refrigerator for a few hours. And now I'm just going to carefully remove the fat from the skin. Try not to cut through to the skin, but you want to get all that fat off. Okay, just like that. Okay, so that's what you want to do. You want to get the skin only. You want to get as much fat off, all of the fat if you can. And uh, I'm going to get the rest okay, of these so done. So now I got the uh, fat all taken off of the pig skin. There's all the fat right there. And now all I'm going to do is cut these into, I don't know, about a couple inch squares. Yeah, go as large or as small as you want. Make some bigger, some smaller. That'll make an interesting one, huh? I'm going to arrange the pig skins. It really doesn't matter. Uh, skin up, skin down, I don't believe. So I'm just going to go ahead and put skin up. Okay, so there you go. Now let's get these in the dehydrator. So I'm going to put these on the third rack. I am going to leave my uh, tray in here just to catch any fat that might still be on there just for easier cleaning. Powered on. And I'm going to go down to dehydrate. Uh, temp. 120 is a little low. I'm going to go... I'm going to go 155. Um, okay, so time. Six hours. Um... For right now, I'm going to put it at 10 and a half hours, and we'll see. It may not even take that long, but anyway, so then just hit start, and there we go. Okay, so I just let these go ahead and go the full 10 and a half hours at 155 degrees. I went to bed, you know, this thing shuts off when it's done, and uh, here they are. Um, they are a little bit greasy from the fat that was on there. Uh, I'm going to take these out. You know, some of them do still have some of the fat on them. I will uh, clean that off. All right, so uh, left the pork rinds in there to dehydrate for 10 and a half hours at 155 degrees. Took them out. 
uh, like I showed you, I wiped off the excess oil that was still on them. And then I decided to throw it back in there for an hour at 170 degrees to let it heat up a little bit and maybe get some more of the uh, oil to drop off or whatever. Um, they're still a little bit oily. Uh, my fingers are a little oily, but uh, here they are. Um, again, I use the comfy toaster oven air fryer, the one with the graphene technology, those tubes and the flash wave. Anyway, uh, so look at these. See how thin that is? It's like a piece of plastic. Hear that? Yeah. It's uh, just about see-through. And that's what that's what I ended up with with that uh, pig skin. And there's not a whole lot of it. Uh, it just is what it is. But I didn't let that pig skin go to waste. I'm going to show you right now it's two different ways to make pork rinds out of this piece of plastic, aka pig skin dehydrated. I'm going to deep fry some, and I'm going to use the toaster oven air fryer. Actually, I'm going to use the air fryer feature, and I'm going to show you how you can make uh, oilless pork rinds if you're you know, don't want to have all the oil. There's not that much oil when you deep fry them. Anyway, let me just show you right now. Okay, this is my Beaver deep fryer. I've got some uh, fresh vegetable oil in it. This dial goes up to 392 degrees, uh, close enough to 400. Uh, I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put my basket in. And then I'm gonna drop a bunch of uh, these skins in there. Uh-oh, they're not doing anything. Just kidding. <laughs> they will. Real quick here. All right. There it is. There's the first one popped up. See that? There they come. <laughs> Look at that. It doesn't even take barely a minute for them to pop up, but they do need to cook a little bit more so they get all the way cooked. I'm going to flip some over. Look at that. Can you believe that? And that little piece of pig skin. Let me hold that up so you can see it. Close up of it. <laughs> okay. I'm going to get these on the paper towel that I have right here. And uh, we'll go from there. All right. So I've got a four over here. And what do I do? Nine. I'm going to put a little smoked salt on uh, these over here. And uh, these over here, I'm going to use some hot salt. This is Hell Hath No Fury, and this salt is pretty hot. So I'm going to uh, sprinkle it on these so I can get some hot ones. And we'll do a taste test here. All right, just like I said, I'm going to show you how to do this in, the, uh, in an air fryer. And this is the Comfy with FlashWave technology. It has the graphene uh, tube technology. And what you want to do is you want to set it to as hot as you can get it. Uh, this one goes to 450. You can do it at 400 and uh, time. I'm going to put this down to seven minutes because I'm going to preheat it for seven. And it's uh, when we put the uh, pork rinds, pig skin in there, it should only take like three minutes. So let me get this heated up. I'll be back in seven minutes and I'll show you how it works. Okay. All right. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I got an air fryer. I'm going to set it down to 400 now that this is heated up. I've got my time set to three minutes. I'm going to press start. I've got uh, five little uh, pieces of pork rind in here or a pig skin in there. Let's just let them go. Call that before they get burnt. Look at that. See there? All right, I'm gonna get some salt on these and then we'll do a taste test. That was only like a minute and a half. All right, so from that pig skin to pork rinds, I gotta show you. I mean, you know, these are the ones from the deep fryer. I got four with just salt and what, five with hot salt. These are the ones from the air fryer. Now the air fryer ones, there's a couple of things. The air fryer ones, like I put salt on them. Salt doesn't really stick real well because they're air fried. The only oil on them is from what's on here. Um, 
And I put five in. Uh, you might want to just do them one at a time. They only take barely a minute because with five, some of them cooked a little faster than the other ones. So uh, they're not as, uh, I just in comparison. Okay, that one is from the deep fryer. This one is from the air fryer. Not quite as fluffy, but hey, let's taste them. All right, definitely tastes like a pigskin. <laughs> definitely tastes like a pork rind. Uh, I gra better grab one with just the salt first. Okay, and this is from the deep fryer. Hmm. So much lighter and fluffier for sure. The air fryer ones are a little crispier. Not as fluffy. Okay, again, air fryer. They're good. They did puff up. They didn't puff up as big as the fried ones. Okay. Okay, and this one has the hot salt. So let's take a bite of this one. Mmm. Okay, here comes that heat. Well, for me, hands down, the fried pork rinds, they're uh, more airy, so they are not as dense, I guess you'd say. Very tasty. Air fryer ones are still tasty. They still puffed up. Maybe just do them, you know, one or two at a time so that one doesn't get overcooked more than the other. Still tastes like pork rind. And honestly, these do not taste greasy. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> All right, well, there you go. I took the skin off of that uh, pork shoulder picnic roast. Didn't throw it away. You can make cracklings with it. Now, cracklings, you, pr you pretty much leave the fat on it and then fry them or let them go in your pellet grill, let them stay longer and let them crisp up. And they will because they got fat on them. Chicharrones, they also call them chicharrones. You deep fry that. And uh, yeah, it's all good. Either way you do it. I just wanted to make some pork rinds, show you how it was done. Kind of crazy, huh? It is kind of a long process, you, you know, because you got to dehydrate that uh, pig skin and it turns into those little plastic chips, but pretty incredible stuff. Anyway, if you got a pig skin, you don't have to have a deep fryer. It makes it super easy. You can, because you, can, you want to do it at 400 degrees, you can do it in a pan as long as you can uh, take the temp on that oil and make sure it's hot enough and... Uh, Sorry, the hot salt is starting to give me the hiccups. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new. I hope you give it a try if you ever get a pig skin. All right, you can ask the butcher, I guess, uh, or just take it off of a pork, pork shoulder. All right, thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe. You know the drill, right? Have a great day.